I'm with the Squarp Pyramid, the sequencer, and I'm going to show you some of the new features in a soon to be released update. One of the things it does straight away is if we go to settings and we've got some different modes in here now that we didn't have before but one of the ones that everybody wanted was play at startup so we can either have yes or no so that's good because it won't automatically start straight away and the next important one is auto load so we've got two choices here we can load the last loaded project or the last saved project and so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new project and you can see here now we have a choice of yes or no well, I'm going to go yes and we're now here um, I'm just going to quickly send something to 10 and we'll get a beat going so I'm going to C2 and I know that that will give me the bass drum and let's just pop okay now let's just add something else on there and I think an F2 sharp will be nice uh, da, 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 da. and there she is and let's have a couple of those oh, let's have a lot of those Okay, that's cool, that's that. Now let me now create another track. I'm going to send this to track two. And this is going to, yeah, ba -ba -ba. yeah that's definitely on there. That's better. And um, we'll go down to, let's go to G2, I think, and there she is. Okay, that's the TBO3 from Roland the new or oh, that's the new old release of the 303 and very nice it is too so let's go to Euclid mode and there we go I like I love 12 7 so there's my steps and we'll just play that <laughs> Okay, so that's sequencing that. I'm using the device in step mode. What we're going to do is to control some of the knobs on the Roland. To do that, I've got the MIDI implementation chart. So one of the new features, if I press FX and I go in, I now have a choice of an LFO CC waveform. So I'm going to send it to 74 boom, and turn it on here and we'll give it a range and let's 74 is the filter frequency I believe for the thing. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. So you should hear it. Okay, I like that. Now if I add another one, I can control something else. And I could normally do this in mess by sending messages anyway, but this is a very nice way to get a random type of wave shape we can change it i've got a ramp there and we'll go for the uh, what should we say now the resonance and that'll be 71 so go 71 and turn her on and we'll do something like that <laughs> And we've got different things we can control here. Yeah. 
And we can come out of phase. So let's do a 40. And we can even add another. I'm going to do that quickly. And we'll add something. Well, maybe the accent. So we'll go to 16. Do you do? And turn her on. And Okay, so I'm liking that. That's okay. And one other thing we can do, which is pretty smart, if we have the scale, we can transpose with the scale as long as it's after the LFOs. And we'll leave it in C major. And now we're going to have it going down. There we go. And transpose. Let's say five minus three. Let's see what happens. So all in all, that's a nice feature as well. And let's look at another feature. Uh, let's add another track. And we'll do that to five, which if I've got that right, will be... Uh, oh, there we are. There's a nice noise there from the ultranova. Now, if we... When we're in step mode, if I hold a selection of steps, like these four, you can see now that the, the in-betweeners have done something. And if you look at the display, there's now a display that's mapped out to the encoders. So I can transpose in all the notes in between my fingers, all the steps, and we can see what, what's going on here now. And with the, we can transpose by octaves of the ones in between. And number three, we can change the velocity of the ones in between. And number four, we've got the length of the selected notes, which we can change here. And then number five, we've got the offset, which we can do from minus 50 to plus 99. So we've got much smarter way of making those edits if we want across the, across the thing. And we can also, if we press the horizontal forward and reverse, I can advance or step back on the step. And if I want all the track notes to edit, I just press the record button and the same options are here. And now I can apply the, the, the effect to the entire range of notes. So that's a really nice feature. And another nice feature here for those who have a, an, electron, an electron box, if we go MIDI out and we look at this mode, we have a turbo mode and that is especially useful if we're sequencing an analog four or the octa track or the analog rhythm or analog keys, because we can now send that MIDI transmission as that machine would, as the electrons would like. So that's not everything, but that's the majority of useful things that we can do now with the device. So thank you for watching.